What's going on YouTube? I'm out here cleaning my nasty rims on Legend. And I got to thinking, uh, actually a video that Kicking It With Q had done about replacing these right there. And it's funny, before I watched his video on how he changed them out and how good they look, he went with a dark LED type uh, strip that goes in there that's a direct replacement and it looks awesome but uh i'd never noticed it before but now that i've watched his video i'm like man mine stick out like a sore thumb so i'm out here washing the truck got gabriel out here rolling in the mud gabe get up son anyhow figuring after i get the truck cleaned i'm gonna look at taping this area off and let's do some vht nightshades since i've got some in the shop Okay, so like I said, we're gonna address this clear marker indicator lamp uh, that just, I think it's turn signal. It lights up orange or amber. Uh, but until, like I said, Q, uh, my buddy Q, kicking it with Q, shout out, big shout out to him as he was replacing these. But in his video, if you guys will check it out, if you decide to take this mirror apart to replace this with an aftermarket part, uh, be very careful because you can break this. The tabs are very flimsy inside there. And I just didn't want to take a risk on it right now. So I thought, hey, I got the VHT nightshades from the auto parts store I'd had for my tail lights. Uh, so what we're gonna do is tape up around this and I've got some some of my products sitting here So we're gonna use the VHT nightshades I've got painters tape scissors and you'll wonder why I've got electrical tape and it's not black. It's green Reason being is that the painters tape will probably have trouble sticking to this plastic Okay, so the rubber in the um, electrical tape will make it easier to go around this area. And why did I not use black? Because this is black. I wanna have a contrast so I can see and make sure that I get the edge perfectly on there. So uh, I'm, I'm a little picky when it comes to stuff like that, a little OCD. So we're gonna tape this off. And I've also got your uh, just basic copy paper. We're gonna, we're gonna tape up the area around this to prevent any overspray. You can use newspaper or, you know, just anything, an old legal pad, tear pages out of it, whatever you can find to um, lay over this, it, even plastic. So we're gonna get this taped up and uh, get to it. Okay, the one thing I forgot to mention earlier is you want to hit this regardless if you've washed your truck like i did so you want to clean any and all dust and dirt off of that you want to make sure you're working with a clean surface right there so. okay so now what we're going to do Take the, see I can see the contrast between the black plastic and the green electrical tape to get me a perfect or as close to perfect as I can line on that. Nope. 
you know, even the electrical tape, especially if you, you put some kind of uh, silicone on your mirror, see it falling off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an issue with this. Maybe I can. Yeah. Hurry. Get a piece like this. Alright. And then. To prevent that. Yeah. Let's make that. That way it holds, holds it better. Okay. Alright, you guys see where I'm headed with this, right? Alright, so there is the uh, the rubber tape, the black, or I mean the green electrical tape. And I'm just putting a few pieces over here to the mirror, just kind of holding everything on. Um, the painter's tape would not have worked by itself. I can go ahead and tell you that will not stick to that very well at all. It'll, it'll peel right off. So you start with the electrical tape and this will give this a much better adhesion to the painter's tape right there. All right, so let's get it. Um, I'm gonna get everything taped up. You don't want overspray, I'm just telling you. Well, I'm gonna avoid any overspray, gonna get it taped up, prepped real good, and then we're gonna spray it. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do, this is all taped up really well. I've shaken the can for at least five minutes. So, and before you start spraying, I would kind of give it a test hit somewhere uh, to make sure the nozzle is cleared out. So basically I'm just going to just really short about six to eight inches away. All right, All right like that. I'm not darkening them out like blackout, but that does give it a nice smoke look. And that was only a couple little sprays. I only got just a touch of overspray right here on the paper. Um, like I say, don't get too crazy. You only want maybe five um, coats, uh, not coats, but I guess five back and forth sprays. You, you get it too thick, it'll all mess up. And then you'll be trying to get uh, solvents or whatever to take it off and uh, yeah it looks really even really good so we'll let that dry all right guys I got both sides done like I said I'm not gonna I was not gonna bore you with the um, taping up of the other window all right look how that is even and that's only one coat i guess you would say one dry time i went back and forth like four or five times so uh but i did not do any drying and more coats to it so because i wanted them to um be fairly uh, visible so that really darkened it up i wouldn't think you'd need more than one coat so really looks good guys i'm telling you Give you one more look at this side, maybe back from over here. Yeah, it really, uh, really goes with the body lines of the truck. It fills in because I don't really have any clear. Uh, even the headlights are uh, the Alpha Rex. They're darkened out. So there you go, guys. All right, fellas, that's gonna wrap up the video today. So it took about 30 minutes of my time. So the side marker lamps vht nightshades at your store your local auto parts store shouldn't be more than 13 bucks for the can maybe 15 but just letting you guys know it's for 30 minutes of your time tape up real well prep it that that takes the most and stay back away from it it's a pretty neat and easy mod 
So I want to give a shout out to Kicking It With Q who originally put me on to those. Like I said, at the first of the video, he changed his out. And I'm just going to tell you guys, if you do take that mirror apart, like I've said countless times already, uh, be careful because the little plastic tabs will break. And for right now, I haven't even done the, uh, like Q has already done the uh, molding covers that are painted ruby red like the truck. I need to do that next. That'll really um, accent those. So big shout out to Kicking It With Q. Also, if you guys have not checked out my boy in Texas, Coyote Mike, do yourself a favor and click on his channel. Just search Coyote Mike. He pops up. He's got a truck named Venom. Trust me, you guys will want to check out his um, channel and subscribe to it because he's always coming up with great mods for the truck. And uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So you guys want a cheap, easy mod, that's it. Man.